Hi everyone, so I'm gonna put some makeup on, um, some new things, and uh, it's kind of stuff that I do when, um, the, the style of makeup I do when I don't have a lot of time and I just want stuff that works. So I did a primer first. This might work without a primer, but pretty much nothing except for the ColourPop Super Shock Shadows work for me without a primer, so, um, and even then, if I have a little bit too much moisture on my lids, those will crease. So this is an Almay Velvet Foil Cream Shadow. Um, somebody in the comments, I think, had recommended this. And also I saw, I think Paul's Choice had a really positive review of them. So I, I feel like I saw them somewhere else too. I just... I'd heard lots of good things, so I just picked up one color, though I was tempted to pick up several. So I'm hoping I'll just smear this over my lids and then be done, is the goal. <clears throat> I picked this shade because I was hoping it wasn't going to be too light or too dark. Um, you know, when you're pale, sometimes the kind of mid-tones can end up looking pretty dark and dramatic and smoky, so... I was hoping that this wasn't going to be like super yellow gold, um, and I do like the tone of this. It's on my skin tone, it looks, it's, it's not like really bright or really dark. My video before this one was a get ready with me, but then before that I was talking about some mental health stuff. And I said I was going to go to the doctor, which I did go to the doctor, and um, I'm just looking for a... A dark pencil to tight line with. ColourPop black pencil. Zero, I think. No, Swerve. Is Zero the white one? I guess that would make sense. Did I say? So we got, um, started a prescription, um, antidepressant. So, um, I had tried Lexapro in the past and, um, a couple different times and the last time I tried it, it had made me really, really agitated. So um, she decided to try a different class of antidepressant, this SNRI as opposed to an SSRI. So what I'm using is the generic version of Effexor. I'm only on half a dose um, and it's only been two weeks. So it was definitely improving my anxiety, though today has been a really, like, I feel like I'm kind of back where I was before, but, you know, could just be getting used to it. And since I'm only on that, like, half dose, it just means that my body has adjusted to that smaller dose and she's going to bump it up after she, um, I go back in a couple of weeks to check my blood pressure because it can make your blood pressure go up. I have not been in the mood to make videos, and so I'm just trying to kind of power through that. Um, this is a sample I got from Ulta. You, you may or may not know Ulta has a policy, no samples, but occasionally some of the brands there will do like a promotion where you can come in and get a sample. It seems to be Clinique or Lancome are the brands that do that. Um, cause they have their own like brand people that work at Ulta, I think depending on the location. The Ulta I go to has Clinique people and it has Lancome people and I think Benefit people. So I was there at Ulta getting my hair cut, hence the undercut. Um, and I saw a sign that said like 10 day supply of the Lancome Taunt Edol Ultra, the new formula. Um, so I got a sample of the 95 shade. So I am almost through my old bottle. I just, I'm avoiding finishing it for reasons un unknown. I'm almost through this bottle of foundation. This is the 90 shade of the old formula. This is a beautiful formula, love it. The shade's a little peachy and dark. Um, they reformulated, this has alcohol in it now which I feel like makes it very beautiful to apply and it dries down lovely and is gorgeous, but I do wish it didn't have alcohol in it. And I think the 95 shade's a little bit better for me and I think that either it's like a different, different depth um, than the old 90 or it doesn't like oxidize as much. I'm not sure what, what the deal is, but I feel like it's lighter.
So while I can wear 90 in the old formula alone, I do think it looks a little bit better when it's lightened, just a touch. I feel like I have to use a lot of this though, so I'm not really sure that I'm going to be able to get 10 days out of that little sample. But it's also hard to tell like how much I've used already. I feel like it just doesn't go very far with a sponge, which is how typically I apply things. It doesn't give a ton of coverage. I mean, coverage that I like, but I feel like even to get like medium coverage, you would have to use a lot of product. <clears throat> But, I mean, it's so pretty. It looks really beautiful on the skin. What I'm not really sure yet is like powdering because it does, it's still tacky for me on my skincare. I don't know that it would be on everybody. It might dry down more um, if you use a different kind of skincare or primer. But on my very particular skincare, skincare setup, um, it does remain a little sticky for quite a while. If I, I wore it without powder at all the other day. Um, and it was good, but it did, it wore well, but um, it did, like my cheeks remain just a little bit tacky for a long time. Isn't that pretty? I'll try to build up a little bit more on my cheeks. <clears throat> looks really 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 pretty all right and hopefully I don't mess things up but <laughs> I'm gonna use the elf concealer I've seen a couple of people talk about how terrible this looks on their skin I have worn this before and um, it looked kind of dry but it wasn't as bad as other people have mentioned so I just want to like put it on on camera The shade I got is Fair Warm, which is the lightest, like, yellow undertone. There's uh, Rose Ivory, which is more... I think now that I have, like, all the lights on, I can see what other people are talking about, just, like, the accentuating of those lines. And it's too light. So I'm going to use this Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Powder in Fair, which is a little dark for me. See if I can kind of darken it and smooth things out a little bit. This definitely looks worse than it has. I think because I use too much. Just like the creepiness is intense. Yeah. It's just accentuating every little crackle under there. Since it is the summer and I am a sweaty person and I exercise, um, I need waterproof eyebrows plus I have a sweaty eyebrow situation. Um, so what I've been using is I have a variety of things that hold up well to sweat but um, one of the options I use is the dip brow pomade from um, Anastasia and this shade is ash brown. The only problem is, you know, it's easy to go a little overboard with the dip brow and you kind of have to pay attention to what you're doing. Though if you can get it on without doing like strokes, you can just kind of like smudge it out which is what I try to do like at the front of my brow. It's not so bad. Probably what holds up the best to sweat on eyebrows in my experience is um, the MAC uh, Shape and Shade 
brow tint, the pen. Because there's like no chunkiness there. It's like just a liquid and it's waterproof and it really holds up nicely. Whereas this, I feel like because there's a kind of a thickness there, I feel like it's just more vulnerable to getting messed up like if you bump into it when it's wet. I have not dyed my eyebrows in a long time, so they're um, really quite blonde right now. Blush, I'm gonna use this Found Illuminating Blush in Peach Glow, which you can get at Walmart. It's pretty sheer. Not really gonna work for people that are much more than like light skin, I think. I don't even know if medium skin would see much from this. I'm gonna take a little bit more of that Charlotte Tilbury powder. Kind of over here where it seems a little too light. Use uh, my favorite ColourPop uh, Super Shock Sh highlight and this is in Flexitarian. It's just so reflective. Glossy. Mascara, battery's probably gonna die when I'm doing mascara. It's been flashing for a little while. This is the Maybelline Lash Sensational. I like it okay. All right, as predicted, battery ran out. So I bought this little set from Fresh of their lip balms, because I've really been liking the rosé one and I wanted something that was a different color. I've heard people say that, um, like in the reviews <clears throat> of these sets, that the little ones aren't the same as a full size, but this is such a good value and I wanted different colors and the rosé isn't my favorite color on me. I like it okay, but it's, I wanted like more nudes and pinks along with a little SPF. The colors, unfortunately, are only SPF 15, which is not fabulous, but it's better than nothing. Um, and since I have small children, I'm more likely to be outside a little bit more than I would otherwise. <laughs> so having getting me to be happy about using some sort of SPF color product. Um, I also have the Paul's Choice SPF 50 lip balm, which I like a lot, which is clear. Um, but I just went ahead and got these little colored ones as well. And so I'm probably gonna wear Honey, which is kind of, um, all of these are a little bit darker than like what I would consider nude for myself, but it's like a natural warm color. And I mean, you can see they have quite a bit of color to them. And if I feel like they're looking too warm, what I've been doing is taking um, my MAC uh, Stone lip liner and just doing the lip line. Because this is a very cool um, gray brown. Yeah, you know, it's pretty dark, so I have to be careful not to overdo it, but. It's easier to do if I did not already have the lip balm on, because now my lips are all slippery. Anyway, so that's it. That's my look. Uh, let me know if you have any questions or comments. I'm gonna try to do get back to once a week videos but I really don't know right now it's um, taking some uh, time has been a little bit different because I am trying to exercise every other day uh, and I do that during nap time plus um, 
My youngest is down to one nap a day, which generally is good. Um, before, when he was doing two naps a day and my three-year-old was in preschool, then I could get little chunks of time in the morning on Thursday and Friday when my three-year-old was in preschool, which does not happen now. Preschool's over for the summer, plus um, the baby is doing one nap anyway. But, um, yeah, I'm just... Now I've got a bigger chunk in the afternoon which in theory is kind of good for video recording time, except if I want to do a foundation test because I'm not getting my foundation on until later in the day. Um, and I can't do a full day wear test if I don't put it on until like 2.30, 2. Um, <clears throat> so that's been making things a little bit awkward and I just, the uh, I've just not been wanting to make videos and I don't know what to say about that, you know? It's like, I, I definitely, I feel like in any sort of, you know, work or hobbies or whatever, sometimes you go through those phases where something you used to be excited about doing no longer is exciting and it, it feels kind of like you're slogging your way through it and you know sometimes that's always work you know work oftentimes for I would say probably most people is not something you look forward to doing and it sucks but it's just the way it is and then this which is in theory supposed to be more like a hobby and something I do for fun um, has just been feeling like an obligation and not so much fun and I know the depression also plays into that like you know taking away the enjoyment of things that you enjoyed previously um what's just been kind of hard is that like I've been doing ballet for the past several weeks again which I've done ballet for a long many years but I haven't taken any class since I was like 30 and I'm 39 now maybe 31 was the last time I took class um, and I've been wanting to but I've got a really bad ankle that I know is aggravated by ballet but isn't really aggravated by anything else and um, I just felt like you know my joints just can't do it you know I've got kind of lousy knees and this bad ankle and I've got some back issues and lately my hips have been bothering me when walking and whatever so I just had like kind of convinced myself I, could, I just can't do ballet anymore. I just can't do it. But I love it so much and I'm, I decided, you know what, they have ballet at the local community college. Let's give it a try. And um, it's only once a week. It's only an hour. Let's see how it goes. Maybe I can like do some physical therapy exercises on my ankle and get it in better shape so that it won't be, because physical therapy always helps all these joint issues I have. Um, and I've had physical therapy on um, one of my shoulders, knees, this ankle, uh, a couple times, I think. So I know it works. So yeah, anyway, I'm doing ballet and I'm excited about ballet and I can feel my interest kind of shifting back to ballet where it, like I when I was in my 20s ballet was like my main hobby and um, you know I tend to kind of throw everything into that main interest you know and I feel like I I can see myself kind of sinking back down into the ballet <laughs> rabbit hole um, and but I don't know I don't know we will see how I feel after the medication I'm on is working for longer, if um, if I can get a little bit more interested in this. Because it's like I've invested so much time and money and energy and I don't want to just like walk away from the YouTube stuff. Um, if it's just going to be like a temporary thing and I'm going to get kind of reinvigorated. So that's why I'm trying to just kind of push through, try to get some content out. Um, it shouldn't be a big deal, you know, to find some smaller videos that I can do just to get something out there, um, to, you know, see how I'm feeling about things and, and just be like, you know, 
I don't want to, I, I don't, like I said, I just don't want to walk away from it. Um, but then, you know, the, the videos that really kind of get any sort of traction for me are foundation reviews, and those are the longest to do, they are the most tedious to do, um, you know, they're also the most helpful, I think, so I don't know, I don't know, I'm probably going to cut most of this out. <laughs> Let me know if you have any questions or comments below. I always love hearing from you guys. If you want to see more videos from me, please do subscribe. And I will link my foundation playlist and hopefully some other relevant videos for you. Uh, turn on the bell if you want a notification whenever I post a new video, which hopefully will be once a week. <clears throat> if I can get my stuff back together, we'll see. And I will see you soon. Hope you're having a great day.